So we're here in Waterloo, Wisconsin at Trek Factory headquarters for their Trek CXC Cup weekend. It's a big cyclocross festival. They've got tons of racing going on from little kids all the way up to the World Cup. It's gonna be a good weekend. In the pits though, there's a lot of new tech that I wanna check out and give you guys a scoop on. Okay, so I'm here with Morgan from Challenge Tires and we saw you in the pits and we had to ask because you had a couple of backpacks on and I knew there had to be something cool in there. Can you tell us about what you have? Well, you, you made me dig it out and uh, well, this is gravel stuff at the cross race. Yes. But gravel, of course, is an evolution of the cyclocross. Yeah. Everything we learned in cross, now we're gonna carry to gravel and the beauty of it is that gravel, you get to play with all the sizes. So we have the first tubeless tubulars, handmade construction. Okay. Uh, this is the Strata Bianca 36. And so the tubeless tubular allows you, it's the first tubular that allows you to get a cut and plug the tire. Okay. And so we have fused this very light latex inner tube to the wall of the tubular. So if you do happen to get a cut, you know, in the Flint Hills of Kansas and the sealant. It's too big. It's too big for the sealant. You just plug it and ride it home. Keep going. You know, yeah. And then wow. you know, off you go. And so that's going to be music to the ears of the riders that are out there with, you know, big tires, but they, they obviously want this high end ride quality from a, you know, a tubular, yeah. but to be able to be able to patch it like that, I think is, is going to be, is going to be well received. This is the, the cat's meow. This is the, you know, has to be. So great. Do you think that we're going to see this technology trickle down to the cyclocross tires? <sighs> well, we, we actually made a batch like a couple years ago, but they just didn't see, you know, cause you're going around and you know, you can ride a flat if you get to the pit, you know, and then change it out. Yeah. And there's just a little, little loss of suppleness yeah. that the, the cross people just have to have that. I know. <laughs> the ultimate, the ultimate, you know? I know. So, and the pit's right there, yeah. so. Well, thank you so much for showing us this. It looks really nice. And uh, yeah, thank you again for your time. Thank you. Okay. okay. More cool tech from the pits here at the CXC Cup. Mike Berry, mechanic for Cannondale CyclocrossWorld.com. Talk to us about these pressure guns that you guys are using. So these are uh, Craftsman pressure guns. Um, they, we use all the same one. Um, we assign them to different riders. Uh, we don't necessarily need to worry too much about whether the pressure is exactly accurate or not, as long as every rider uses the proper gun. 25 pounds, whether it's 25 pounds in this gun, is always the same. I got it. Yeah, because that's why you guys each, uh, Caitlin Keo has her own gun. Stephen Hyde and Curtis White, they have their own gun. The other riders, you guys have other riders on the team yep. and on your development team. Yep. That all use a particular gun every time they go to use it. I love it. And so this, this originally, it was designed to be something that was used out on the road with your car tire. Automotive, it was designed for, uh, for Schrader valves and it was designed for uh, balls and footballs and things like that. Yeah, and you have, you know, a lot of the pro teams re-engineer these guns to be able to put a, uh, a Presta valve on them and then to be able to fill these tires up super quick. Yep, absolutely. And and it's accurate. Uh, it, the digital gauge is great. You don't have to deal with the dial. Yeah. Um, and they go up to, uh, they do tenths, tenths of a pound. Yeah, exactly. And you don't need to worry because like, again, it's not about if it's uh, 25 pounds on this one. It's just the most important thing is that it's the same every single time on that gun. If that's what you think 25 pounds is, that's, that's what we want to make. As, as a former pro rider, I, I could appreciate that we use the same gun every single time. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We're over at the SRAM booth and I ran into Dan. Dan, tell us about what's going on with these cranks. This is unique because you guys have a lot of athletes running one by systems yep. with a power meter and it's different than your road setup. Sure, uh, with ETAP access, traditionally when you have a red crank set, the chain ring is all machined out of one piece aluminum. So with cross, typically it's the one by setup. So every crank, both forest and red, is ready to go with power or without. So this crank here, we're shown single chain ring without a cork power meter. If you want to run power, all you do is grab a spider, run a four bolt chain ring, and go one by or two by, and it's it's all power metering integrated into it. 
that is that is really cool. And I think I think for people that are out there with a two by, want to go to a one by, they're able to do that as well. Super easy, eight bolts, and you get to there. Ready? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with John at Shimano, and we're looking at the new GRX group set. This is uh, this is new for you guys. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here? And, and in particular, I'm really interested in these buttons that shift on each side and the tops. <laughs> yeah, um, so Shimano wanted to release a uh, gravel-specific uh, group set, so something a little bit more robust um, for gravel and cycle cross use. Um, so a nice feature are those buttons right here on top, just to give you another position to, to shift in. Um, so it's just a nice, comfortable place. You can use your thumbs, go up or down the cassette, you know, however, however you like. Cool. All right, well, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much for showing us. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming by. All right, so we're continuing to look at cool stuff that we've seen here at the Trek CXC Cup, and I found Andrew. Andrew, tell us what the heck is going on with these. Yeah, so um, this is a, a PVC bike holder that we have here, and, and the idea is to uh, be able to fit four bikes in the back of our van here, which we use as our team vehicle, um, in order to keep everything organized and upright and clean and safe, um, and to maximize the storage space in the back of our small van. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, if uh, if I'm thinking about it, when I used to drive around in my old school Caprice, we used to just have to ram those bikes in there, and, and unfortunately, they would chip up the paint and get some things messed up. This is a, uh, a pretty, uh, yeah, a lot of ingenuity going into this <laughs> and, and the Thanks, ability. Jeremy. Yeah, you've just taken really what I don't know how much, but maybe ten dollars of PVC pipe. You've kind of created a jig and then you've replicated. It. You've got four of them in there, and it, and it keeps everything super clean. I, I assume the wheels can tuck in between each of them. The wheels can tuck in between each of them, and um, you know they all fit together nice, and they're they're cut to fit in the van, so everything fits in there really neatly. Um, leaves just the right amount of space for everything, and keeps it from falling over and, and moving around and uh, the bikes stay out of the elements as well. Can, can people pick these up at your local sponsor at the Pony Shop up in Chicago? Can people pick these up? Unfortunately not. People are going to have to uh, you look know, you up on the Etsy. They're going to have to look me up on Etsy or uh, <laughs> use a little elbow grease. But I think <laughs> I think these are very much within the ability of any, uh, you know, master carpenter, master carpenter. I could <laughs> not do this. Thank you. I, These look amazing. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay. Mike has a beautiful setup here at the SRAM booth. Talk to us about your uh, talk to us about your toolbox and this rapid charging station that you have. Yeah, so the toolbox I custom made. Uh, we have some red carbon fiber pieces built into it. Uh, I also have solar power uh, battery chargers that are built into the bottom of it. Okay. Uh, with some charger cradles that are here, uh, but we also have for these bigger events the need for more charging to be done at once. Uh, so we've created a box that's a travel box, plugs directly in, and now we can charge up to eight batteries at one time. Uh, we've also got a USB because there's always somebody who wants to uh, charge your phone at some point. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, everything you see here is just custom made with uh, red carbon fiber underneath it. Have to be SRAM red to match up. So if something is missing, we know exactly what's missing. I love it. Yeah, changing the times. It used to be housing and cables and all this extra stuff, and now you guys are going electric. Everything yeah. has to be electrified, and so having these solutions to be able to uh, to be able to kind of meet the demands of what's going on here. Portable energy, it's got to yeah. be a huge part of your life now. Absolutely, and I'll even carry a, a solar panel, not on days like today where it's really rainy and uh, overcast, but the solar panel will actually charge up enough to keep up with it. I love the ingenuity, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we moved over to the feedback tent and we met up with Jeff. Jeff, you have your uh, your chain keeper here. You've even got a custom edition for the Trek CXC Cup. We talk, did. Talk to us. Yeah, this is such a great event for us and we love coming out here and racing and, and participating in the expo. So we decided to make a co-branded Feedback Sports Trek version of our chain keeper that works for both through axles and QR. Awesome, and this is something that can literally, like if I have a bike that's, um, like you said, through axle or regular, just quick release, yep. this goes on and it tensions the chain and allows me to like clean my bike or store it or rack it or whatever. Traveling too. A lot of people like to take their, obviously their wheels off in their travel bag and this keeps tension on the chain so it's not slapping around the chain safe. Yeah, very cool. All right, thank you so much. You bet, thanks for stopping by. Okay, so we ran over to the stands tent and they were packing up, but we got a glimpse of a new tire. And Drew, tell us about what's going on with this. Uh, so we've got a, a prototype mud tire from Maxxis. Uh, we do a little bit of modification to it, so there are um, uh, kind of a wide center knob that we trim up a little bit so that it sheds mud a little better. Um, it's what the girls prefer. Uh, 
uh, hopefully we won't have to use it tomorrow. We'll see what the weather does, though. It's looking pretty rainy out there. It's a, a working prototype for sure, and obviously it's a, it's a tubeless design. So a lot of riders we've seen doing tubulars, but stands obviously known for being uh, tubeless and your technology that you have there. This is, a, I believe, a patented rim as well. It is, it is. We've got five different patents on our rim shape. Uh, it's kind of our whole deal is the, the tubeless. We've been running the cross team for a number of years, so we're, we're happy to support athletes and, and be a part of the sport. And yeah. We're excited about uh, the World Cup tomorrow. What What is the lowest pressure do you think you can get away with on a tire like this, prototype or not? Just in, just curious. I think that's... Uh, we run in well into the low teens. Uh, I think the lowest court he ran last year was something like 13, 14. Wow. So, yeah, we wow. low. It's come a long way. <laughs> so cool to see. All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Jerry. So that's all the tech from the Waterloo World Cup here at Trek HQ. It's a fun time for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you like the most. And um, if you want to subscribe to GCN, please click right here.